Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make these microwavable um, bowl holders. And at first you're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a rotary cutter if you have one. You're going to need a cutting mat and um, like one of these cutting mats. And you're going to need a ruler to cut these. Uh, these are really simple. If you're a beginner, you can uh, do this. So what I did is I pre-cut. I got a whole stack of these already pre-cut. The batting, you're going to need two pieces of batting and two pieces of fabric for both um, to make one bowl. And uh, you're going to cut them 10 by 10, which I have two pieces of batting and uh, set that aside and two pieces of fabric and what you're going to do first is you're going to uh, and you're going to need an iron and an ironing board you're going to fold that in half like a triangle let me get my iron and you're going to press this down and i i make a whole bunch of these i cut up a whole pile and then I turn around and I iron all of my pieces. Then you're going to fold it the opposite way. And you're going to press that end down. I try not to really press on the crease in the middle so I don't lose my crease. Okay, so now we got that one. Anybody, I mean a beginner sewer, sewer can do this. It's, it's really... Um, super easy these are awesome christmas gifts i know my husband says i make them for everybody and i sell them and he he wants one because he burned his hands the other day getting a bowl out of the microwave so i'm making him one and it's true i make a ton of these and i don't have any in my house okay so now that um let me set that out of the way now that we have this what we're going to do is we're going to take our fabric and we're going to line it up on here and we're going to pin it we're going to do the same one with this And I pre-cut these just to save a little bit of time on the video part. Uh, they're just 10 by 10 squares. So now, let me move my camera. I'm sorry about all the moving, but I want to be able to show you everything that we're going to be doing here. And now, I'm going to bring this down. We're going to take, and where uh, these crisscrosses are, we're going to sew all the way down on this side then we're going to turn it and we're going to sew all the way down on this side so I'm going to show you with this one these are awesome Christmas gifts I always back stitch I love this new brother's machine that I got. Um, it embroiders, it um, has a cutting, it has a thread needle. So I, I like the thread part because I'm having a hard time seeing the thread and needle because they're so small. And these are so simple to do. Okay, so now that we have that sewn, I hope that you can see, you can see on the back where it's sewn, we're going to um, take our pins out, then i gotta, I got to move the camera again so that you can see, and I'm sorry about all the moving, but I want you to be able to see, 
what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half you're going to pin it and if your batting's not all the way there is it you know because it moves it it would be okay because it'll catch on the seam I try to get it but sometimes it slips and slides okay so now we got it pent like this and then I'm gonna take the ruler because I want my fabric to be even and I'm gonna put it inside and I'm just gonna pull the ruler through and then you're gonna take the side that's folded and you're gonna mark one inch across on the top like this put a little dot then you'll come down and you'll mark two inches there and you're going to connect those dots so we got that done then you're going to flip it to the other side so that there's no markings on this side and you're still on the uh, folded side of the fabric you're going to come one inch across two inches down and you're going to connect them and now what we're going to do I'll bring you back over here again is uh, we're going to sew on each one of these fold lines I'll get my foot pedal so remember to back stitch so your stitching doesn't come undone And then we're going to flip it and we're going to sew on that seam line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to trim this off, but don't get too close that you cut your stitches. Just leave a little tiny bit. Now what we're going to do is uh, I'll move you back over here. Like I said, it's going to be a lot of moving with the camera, and I apologize. So now uh, we're going to open this up, take our pins out, and right now it should look like this. And what you're going to do is now you're going to take these two sides and you're going to uh, fold them together and pin them and you're going to do the same at the bottom you're going to match your uh, seams up you're going to pin this one like I said I like to run my ruler through here so that my I know that my fabric is straight and then on the folded side again you're going to come one inch across two inches down and you're going to connect those dots or those little lines and then we're going to flip it and we're going to do the same here one inch and two inch and uh, the, I'll put down that you can make bigger ones I'll put them down but this is like my best seller too so now we're going to come back over here And I'm going to sew these ones. These go together really fast. And if you pre-cut a bunch, you can just whip through these. I have a bunch to make before the weekend, and that's what I'm doing today. So I figured I would do a new video. I have an older video on this. I figured I'd do a new video for a lot of people that have just joined my uh, channel accidentally cut before <laughs> I was done sewing all right so now like I said we're gonna go back we're gonna cut and you're gonna do this for both sides of the fabric so now you'll go back and you'll do the other side you can do them both at once but I'm just wanting to show you so you take the second piece right here and you would do it again with sewing the crisscross and then folding it and and doing the pleats on it 
So now when you open it up, you have this. It's a bow. And I already have another one already done, so you don't have to sit and watch through it. You're going to fold the second one inside out. And you're going to put those, stack those two together like this. And then we're going to pin it. So that everything stays together. So I'm just going around and pinning right now. That way I know that it's going to line up when I sew it. I've got uh, safety pins and needles stuck in with my stick pins. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to start sewing just a little bit before this seam because I'm going to leave this open so that uh, we can turn it. So now let me bring the bowl over here and start sewing it. And I'm just like a half inch seam. And I'm back stitching to start. And I'm going to move my pins as I go. Make sure all my stuff stays lined up. And I back stitch on my corners. takes a little bit of time. And then I back stitch over these seams where our pleats were just to give it some extra stability. Get my pins out of there. I don't want to break my needle. I'm down on my last needle. I need to go buy some more. sure where my opening is so I want to put a double pin over here so that I know not to sew this side closed because I have gotten carried away and done that in other words we want to have an opening to flip it and I would love if you try this to let me know and show me a picture of it. I would love it. They're so easy. They're awesome gifts. And especially like kids when they get something hot out of the microwave, they don't burn their hands. Or like I said, my husband complaining that he wanted one because he was tired of burning his hands. Okay, so I know I get to this corner. I gotta stop. And I'm just going to turn it a little bit. I'm only going to do a real small bit on the corner because I don't like stopping on the corner. Okay, so now I'm going to trim off all of our extra set. And remember, um, I don't think I mentioned this, but I know I have in my other videos. Uh, you need to use 100% cotton thread, 100% cotton fabric, and 100% um, 
cotton batting thread and fabric and this is you can buy these it's called wrap and zip 100% natural cotton batting it's made for potato bags and they have um, a, a recipe uh, not a recipe a pattern on the back that you can make a potato bag out of and I have a video on that too which makes good uh, microwavable potatoes and all that and I'm just nipping the corners so that when I turn it it's not um, really bad and um, let me see now I gotta find my end ignore that so now I'm gonna reach in and I'm gonna turn it if you got a dowel rod it's really good I forgot to bring mine down it's good for um, punching your little corners back out and I've just left enough room that I can pull this inside out of itself I'm trying to keep it in so that you can see me working with getting it out sorry if I go out of frame okay so now I have this turned right side out Let's get my corners out here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in just be careful if you use your scissors so you don't punch through but I'm going to um, poke them corners out a little bit so get them all done and then I want to get this corner around and so now it's starting to take shape of the bow and we're gonna what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna trim just a little bit of this batting because when I fold this it's not going to be doubled anymore it's going to be like four times the thickness but I still want to leave enough because I'm going to turn this corner in and I don't want it so thick that it's going to break my needle. So I just trimmed a little bit in and I'm going to fold that in like that and press that. And let me do that real quick. <coughs> Okay, so now I got it pressed, and we're going to sew all around the outer side of this uh, bow. <coughs> so, my one corner is going to be bulky. I should have came around the corner a little bit more, I think, on that. Yeah, it was Rick. Oh. Yeah, I, just I just gotta be real careful when I start because it's so thick that I don't want to break the needle, like I said. And I'm doing about a half inch uh, seam around here, and I'm just pulling back any creases. see if I can get this to where you can actually really see I, I don't know um, how good it will be <coughs> excuse me I'm getting a cold <coughs> until I do all four sides and these are 
really easy to make. Like I said, a beginner sewer could make these. It's pretty much just sewing straight lines. This part takes a little bit longer because you want to just be careful that you get it all and you don't get too much. One more stitch that way. Okay. So I want it to be the same all the way around. But these are really easy to make. This is the longest part of the whole thing is sewing around here. Sadie, Mickey, go lay down. I think it's playtime. Like I said, this is the longest part. This is the last side now. And I'm hoping these Santa ones sell real good. It gets hard to sew over the seams, like I said, because there's so much you're folding and you've got a, quite a few layers. And then we're going to back stitch and cut it. So now we have our bow. Bring me one of those bowls, Stacy. We'll put a bowl in there and let you see. And these, they just grab the sides when you're going to take it in and out of the microwave. And it works really good. But I'm hoping these little Santa ones will sell. And this is what you'll be putting your bowl in. And put it in the microwave and grab it out by the sides. Thank you for watching my video. And give me a thumbs up and please um, share this video. Thank you.